from Canada. I uh, decided about nine years ago to, to basically leave everything I had in Canada and move to Panama for a new, uh, sort of a new adventure, a new, new lifestyle. And I built a house in Panama and I was uh, looking for products for, for building my house. And that's when I, I discovered Palmix, which kind of funny because it's a product from Canada, which I didn't know. Uh, and then I discovered the product when I, when I was going to Panama. And there were no distributors in Panama, so I contacted the company directly, and uh, and I liked the product so much, decided to become a distributor myself. Uh, originally, it was supposed to be just something to keep me busy uh, in Panama, but then it kind of grew and became a fairly important company. Now we have uh, we employ about 30 people, and uh, we've done hundreds of roofs in Panama and in Colombia. So. Uh, it's it's grown far beyond what what I had in mind when I started. Mm -hmm. So what about the product that inspired you? Because you said you uh, got in touch for your own roof, right? So yeah. I mean, it must have been really good that you decided. That, yeah. That you uh, have some faith in the quality. Or... Absolutely. Well, the uh, when I was building my house, I, I wanted to have uh, what they call a rancho or a palapa, uh, which is like a kiosk along uh, by the side of the pool with a thatch roof. Uh, but I didn't want all the problems of the thatch because the thatch is basically, it doesn't last very long in, in the climate of Panama. It lasts like three years and it attracts insects and, and other uh, pests. And, and it, you know, it will uh, basically, you, you'll have uh, debris falling in the pool which causes problems clean, maintaining the pool clean. So. I didn't really want a natural thatch roof, um, so I didn't know what I was going to do until I found this product, uh, which I really didn't know existed at the time, uh, which faithfully reproduces the look of the thatch, but without any of the problems. So I thought that was pretty cool. And since it was a Canadian product, I was able to go and actually visit the factory directly and see the product for myself. Um, and then I decided to jump in and become a distributor. Um, and, and I really believed in the longevity and of the product and the fact that it's zero maintenance. So I thought, if it's good for me, it'll be good for other people. Um, so that, that's how I got in, into it. Mm -hmm. So uh, is the roof that you installed in your place still there? It's still there, yeah. Now has, uh, it's now nine years old and it still looks like new, hasn't changed at all. And Oh yeah, lots, lots of rain, lots of sun, lots of wind, uh, and it just stands up to everything. It's really, a, really a strong product. Um, it, it, the fact that it doesn't get damaged by high winds and or or rain, um, and doesn't require any maintenance, is really fantastic. Uh, it's a completely trouble-free product. So, and and by the pool, it's ideal because it, again, it doesn't uh, cause you know, debris to fall into the pool, and so it keeps helps keep the pool clean as well. Mm -hmm. People have a hard time understanding that a plastic can be an ecological product, um, but it was actually the product was actually LEED certified, you know, which is the the worldwide leader in green building certification. Um, and uh, there are many reasons for that. First of all, yeah, it's a plastic, it's a poly uh, polyethylene, but uh, it has a very long life. It, this product can last 50 years. So during 50 years, you're gonna have to change a natural thatch roof 10 or 12 times. So every time you're damaging trees, uh, you know, in the transportation of, of the material and all that. So that has a significant impact. And there are many uh, places now in the world that they don't allow harvesting the palm trees for that. Uh, for example, in Costa Rica, in parts of Panama, where I am, in parts of Colombia, uh, in, in uh, Tahiti, for example, they can't use the palm trees from the islands because there, there aren't that many of them. They're small islands. So it does have quite an impact on the environment to build these natural roofs. And since this product lasts so long, you're really saving a lot of trees uh, and a lot of trips to go harvest them. But also the product is actually made from about 35% recycled material. And Palmex would like to go up to 50%, but the problem is there's not enough material in the market. 
um, but still 35% is pretty good. And the product itself is 100% recyclable. So if somebody in, in 30 years or whatever takes down a roof, the, the plastic is all 100% recyclable. Um, and also, it's a product that keeps, will keep the, the building underneath really cool. The Palmex is really good at rejecting uh, the sun's energy and there's very little heat that passes through. It's got really nice uh, insulation properties. Um, so if, if it's for an air conditioned building, it will actually help save energy. Uh, it also, because it doesn't attract insects, uh, you don't need to fumigate it like a natural roof in a, like if it's in a restaurant or something like that, they have to fumigate regularly to keep the insects and other pests out. With Palmex, you don't have to do that because the product doesn't, doesn't keep water and humidity, doesn't mold, doesn't rot, and, and it doesn't attract insects. Or, or, I mean, you may have some occasionally, but they're not attracted to the product. There's nothing, no food, nothing there for them. Uh, so, so many reasons why, in the end, even though it's a plastic, it's, it's, a, it's a product that's good for the environment. And another thing that many people don't understand is that uh, this polyethylene is made from, from a, a very thick, gooey substance that is left when they make gasoline out of oil. Uh, the, it's a byproduct that, that's left. And so that's something that they would throw away if they didn't use to make plastic. So it's really not something that, that causes consumption of oil. Um, it, it's made from, from a byproduct that, that would go to waste if it wasn't used for this. And it's very, very resistant. Uh, so uh, it won't break off and, and go into the sea, for example. Um, so it's very nice for that. Mm -hmm. Any other projects that you want to talk about? Palmix projects around the world that you are impressed with or you want to... Impress? One that I'm... Uh, fun of and, and that we've done in my company is there's a large hotel, a beach resort in Panama. They have 160 parasols on the beach it's, and we're changing them all. That's, that's a lot of, of Palmex structures all on one beach and there's a good example of, of why it's friendly for the environment. In the past with their natural parasols they would, they would change them every two years. And now we're putting these parasols in and we're basically making them, uh, uh, we're guaranteeing them for 20 years, both the Palmex and the wood. So these parasols are gonna be there for a long, long time, uh, which will save the hotel money and also help the environment. So, but there's, uh, I'm not aware of all the projects because now I think the product is in like 50 different countries, uh, but we see, uh, pictures coming out, actually, if you follow the Palmex website, every once in a while, uh, somebody comes up with a new innovative way of using the product, because it's a very, very flexible product that can be adapted to just about any type of roof. Mm -hmm.